Hello and welcome to Endless Mode, I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And we're back with some more Kamiko for the Nintendo Switch. And this is Yamato, the Sword Miko. Working our way through Stage 2, Sunken Ruins. Yeah, um... I will say, uh, she's the character that I played the most of the three. Uh, just because, well, she seemed like the main character gal. <laughs> Well, she does have a superpower the other character doesn't have. The other characters don't really get, so... I think she's supposed to be the, you know... Plus, she's on the title screen. Yeah. <laughs> she, she definitely got top billing there. I like her weird little antlers. <laughs> yeah! Uh, and the fact that she spins like a top when you power up. Very, like, uh, Zelda-style spin attack. So here we are, sanctifying shrines, trying to work our way toward the boss. On uh, stage two, the uh, on the rain level. I don't know what they called it just a minute ago. Again, just really pretty pixel art. I remember just sort of this one more so than the other one, wandering a lot more. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, we got to find out where this goes. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, Ow. there it goes. It goes on the ground. <laughs> Throw it on the ground. Yeah, no, this this stage took me a lot longer to complete just because everything's a lot more spread out. Um, I honestly wouldn't bother grabbing another one of those because for the life of me, I don't remember where it goes. And it could be, you know, behind something. Miles away. Or behind something we haven't opened yet. True. Could go lots of places. I know that's happened to me a couple of times where I've uh, Come over here. <laughs> okay. Uh that Don't is a wanna... teleport pad. It will I'll take you, you to another one. <laughs> Once you want to bet it goes here. Oh, nice. Ah, daytime. It's not raining no more. Yeah. Goodbye, water level. And it unearthed another path. But no, this one took me a while, because uh, the teleport pads go quite a few places by the end of it. Notice there's another unactivated pad there. Oh, yeah. So it was a, it was a lot of doubling back and going around stuff. Uh, not in a bad way, like, it didn't feel tedious, but uh, there was definitely a lot of where the heck does this even go kind of stuff. Oh! Hit ball. So I did not find that one. Nice job. <laughs> I don't know, key door. Not a key door. Alright, where's the key? But, um... Which one? I bet it's up the path we just opened up. Hey, yeah! I mean, probably. Or, you know, bounce around a couple teleport pads and you might get there. Oh! Yeah, no! It's tracking! <laughs> Demon no tracking. No tracking homing missiles. I only have sword. <laughs> uh, the slimes. Yep, the slime dudes take a couple hits too. Yeah. Yeah. No, the monsters just in general are getting beefier as you go about this. Yeah. They are. But uh, I like the designs. I I particularly like the weird little like jelly cubes. It's just very satisfying to watch them do things. No. Oh, hey, switch. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. Cool. You can't hear it, but it's ticking down uh, right now, and then it will go away. Hey. It will go away while you're on it. I bet that's entertaining. Oh, it just sends you back to the side that you started on, but you definitely want to clear a path, and then you have to do the dash. It's, it's the only way to make it. Uh, that oh. Alright. Let's see if we get it first try. The trees don't come back, thankfully. The monsters do. <laughs> Just made it. Nice. <laughs> Ow. 
I ended up with a drink a couple of times on that one. <laughs> hey, what's this? It's that key with the key door. Nice. Yeah, no, you're making it through this at a much uh, faster clip than I did. Yeah, doing good. But homing bubbles could just stop, though. <laughs> you were four short of uh, what you needed to open that. Well, oh, that's the danger of the spinny power. It sucks up your energy bar. It does, but I do think it's funny that you were so close. The good thing is, is that because the monsters do come, keep coming back, it's real easy to get oh, yeah. Me, yeah. But I did find it a little amusing. Like uh, like any good game of this genre, it is introducing new concepts in each stage. Oh. I mean, the first one got you familiar with the keys and various uh, puzzle pieces that you get to carry around. Uh, and this one's introducing like teleport pads and uh, environmental effects. Like being able to turn off the rain and unsubmerge that platform. And uh, I think it did a really good job yeah. of, of like certainly not doing a bad job, you know, building up to things. Stop. <laughs> a target rich environment, yeah. Uh, I think oh, you push God, blocks. So... Yeah, there's the block. Hiding it behind a tree, jerks. <laughs> Hooray, the button unlocked button. Yep. <laughs> button unlock. A new teleport pen. Alrighty. Oop. Oop. <laughs> So, uh, I was looking online, and I guess the world record speedrun for this, because apparently that's a thing that's been done, is something like 14 minutes. That makes sense. I mean, it's not a terribly long game, but, uh, given how long it took me to finish some of these puzzles, uh, just in terms of having to backtrack and traverse, unless there's a game-breaking glitch I don't know about, I mean, I haven't watched the speedrun video. Uh, I didn't want to spoil it. Unless there's a game-breaking glitch I don't know about, and that is possible. I have to imagine it's just a really optimized uh, run. Oh, well, they probably in terms use of, you know, Hinoma Shield Gap. I could see that. That lets you attack and move. Uh, I think they had a speedrun for each of the characters. Like, I think there's a record for each of them. That makes sense. But they were all pretty close to each other. I don't remember who the fastest uh, was, but I wouldn't be surprised if you're right. I mean, Konomi does allow you to uh, shoot and move. So the question is, where did I miss Either Either Konomi or... Uh, what's her name? Uh, Uzume? Uzume. Uh, the Archer Gang. Uh, simply because of the fact that she has the most range, which might mean that you don't have to, you know, go certain places. You might be able to do things with just hitting them with arrows. I would be surprised if Yamato was the fastest, I guess is what I'm saying. Simply because of the, the shortened range. Mm -hmm. And, as you mentioned, the fact that her special uses up the resource that you use for literally everything else in the game. Alright. Um, 
else be down here. I must have skipped this entire bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we haven't even seen this part of the map. It's actually a little bigger than I remember. That's what I mean, though. Like, it's very pretty, and there's a lot more of it. Than... Bonus energy bar. Nice. On the character that matters. <laughs> Yeah, no, this this one does go through a bit faster than most. Okay. Door taken care of, that'll get our last uh, defiled shrine taken care of. Nice. What was supposed to be down here? <laughs> Just energy. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> ah, speaking of Amber Square, let's do frog. Throw this. <laughs> Alright, now let's go remember where that was. <laughs> I think as soon as you walk into that, even if there's baddies, you can just warp out, essentially. Alright, puzzle boss. What do you got for me? You can't help but notice it doesn't refill your health bar. No, it just gives no, you it another, does not. Another pip. Oh, teleports. That looked interesting. Okay. Alright. And like black slime cubes. Well, he's in the second bit of him, so. Uh, hmm. Do I have to telefrag? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just can't walk. Oh. I just walk up and hit him. I think you just have to hit the piece of him. Uh oh. Right now, I don't think you can do anything about him except run. And oh, hey, that piece is completely independent of the rest of it. Uh oh. So I could see teleporting being useful, so you can get at him. Really? Oh, that, that he's running away from you. So, okay, that's pretty clever. Alright. Whoa, hey, hello. <laughs> See, he's a little, little more dynamic than the first boss fight. Heck with you. See, like, that that's one I think, uh... Oh, Archer Gal would be much, much easier. Cause shield Gal. Shield Gal would help, but the Archer Gal, I think, could actually get across that little divide there with her arrows. Oh, yeah. Meaning you wouldn't have to do the bop back and forth bit when he's uh, running from you. Alrighty, well. That was yeah. very fast. I think our first uh, stage was uh, yeah. a little longer. A little but, bit. Uh, I think it's because so, you're getting the hang of it. We're going to take a short break here and reconvene in 30 seconds. Pop back into it with another character. Hopefully this is uh, something you're enjoying. Please like and subscribe. Comment and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.